Good evening and welcome you streamers. I am Jason and this is Scream Life, the on radio station where we scream life to a world of dry bones. We are still at it. This is season two. We're still coming. We're not stopping. We're not slowing down. As we stated last week, we're going to go back into this is Creative Minds Part 2. We're going to continue to talk about it. We're going to get even more in depth with it. We got a couple of more people here, and we're going to have a great time in the Lord. So, again, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We'll be right back. Opening the book of life, each 
grandstand hushed in awe as Majestic Queen said, Now here's the rules. They will be wounded for their transgressions, bruised for iniquities. When he said by his stripes they're healed, the devil shook. He screamed, Sickness is my specialty. I hate that healing junk. God said, You shut your face, I wrote the book. Then the father looked at his only son and said, You know the rules. Your blood will cleanse their sin and calm their fears. Then he pointed his finger at Satan and said, And I know you know the rules. You've been twisting them to deceive my people for years. Satan cried, I'll kill you, Christ. You will never win this fight. The demons wheezed. Dear your dead man, Jesus, I want to bless you up Jesus said, go ahead, make my day. Satan kicked him in his side, and blood and water flowed. And they waited for the ten count of defeat. God the Father turned his head, his tears announcing Christ was dead. The ten count would proclaim the battle's end. Then Satan trembled through his sword. In unexpected horror, yet as God started to count by saying, Ten. Hey, hey, wait a minute, God. Nine. You're counting wrong. Eight. His eyes are seven. His fingers are twitching. Six. Where's all his light coming from? Five. He's alive. Four. Oh, Yes, indeed. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Woo! is the true champion. Amen. That was made by Carmen. You can see him on your screens. He wrote that. He is a play writer, a songwriter. He is just quite a creative man. This is Creativity Part 2. We're continuing on from last week, and we're going to dig deep into the depth of it we have a couple of people here today and of course i'm not going to take all of it but let's just open it up with 
our youngest and let's just tell us um isabella our youngest uh scream lifer here on the air today what do you feel creativity is well what i feel about creativity is when you have something you're doing that no one's thought of before that you could just grab it and nobody knows what it is and you accomplish something that you have never did before and someone who I think is really creative is God because he does things that touch people's heart and helps them. Amen. Amen. That's very good, very insightful. What I think creativity is, is when you um, you do something beyond what you're expected of. It's different, unique, and very, very different. <laughs> Amen. We um, are, right. those are youngest screamers in the house. Thank God for them and uh, showing that it doesn't matter how old you are, God can speak through those who are willing to hear from him. And that you're not too young to see God and be active in his ministry like these two are. Um, that song, we played one last week. Champion is very special to me because it takes me back to my childhood. And one thing about that song is every time, if you ever get a chance, go on YouTube and type in Carmen the Champion live and see him uh, perform this live because the crowd just lights up when he gets to the part when God does a 10 count backwards. And it's just so good because it's depicting the crucifixion as a boxing match between the devil and God. I mean, between the devil and Jesus, which takes creativity. And I feel creativity is um, those who have creative minds. They're given the ability to express shared feelings or emotions about different matters in various forms of art. So whether it be singing, whether it be a painting, whether it be dancing, choreographers, I was just watching So You Think You Can Dance, people who are able to give, tell a story or depict emotion through movements, such as dance. So um, that really, uh, I think that song was a perfect thing to open us up with and just get us into the creative mind aspect of things. Um, I agree with, one of the, with the um, statement. Um, what I've said that that creativity is when you can create something and other creations can be created off of that idea. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. it, it can be when other, when other things are created from the original creator, mm-hmm. it, gives, it gives breath, which in what Elizabeth said, how Jesus... And God had well. God has breathed life into the world. Yeah. Uh-huh. Other creations are birthed from the human, mm-hmm. which is the, which the original creator was God. Oh and yeah. Therefore, more and more are being created, <laughs> and yeah. still to this day through and through a process. <laughs> that Amen. All right. <laughs> but the clap for that one. That's good. Amen. That's really good. That brings up another question. Uh, what you said is there a difference between originality and creativity, or does it take originality to be creative? So, what are your thoughts on that, uh, uh, era, era? <laughs> uh-huh. What do you think? Well, I think it takes originality to be creative because sometimes creativity can be based on the original thing. Mm. They may take something That's out good. of the original thing and mix it up in their own ways to make it original. That's good. good. All right. Okay. Um, Makes sense. The question is, what is the difference between creativity and originality? It, does it take create? Does it take originality to be creative? Yeah. yeah. Well, in a way, it does. In a way, it doesn't. Mm. It can take other creation. Like I said, other creations can be based off of that from mm-hmm. the original creator. Mm-hmm. And when you, when you feed off of the seed, and then you go produce plants, mm. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, like an apple seed, and then you put it in the ground and stuff. You you put it, and then grass grows. The its original creator was the the seed that created the apple, and and, and you know, and you know more and more stuff is created. So it takes. I do believe that it takes an original mind mm -hmm. to create to be creative, but I do because. You can create you create stuff based off of other ideas. Yeah, or other ideas have inspired you to create this. Exactly. I just want to chime in for a second um, because one, uh, I really like Elnez's comments mm -hmm. because one thing I always think about is the phrase "There's nothing new under the sun." Oh yeah. And uh, I, oh. for one, have found that to be so true mm -hmm. because I mean, so many times. We think of the term being original in mm -hmm. music. Yeah. When really all we're doing is being creative. Yeah. And that that's we take, good. and that's something El Nez, if y'all were um, tuned in last week, discussed is that all we're really doing is feeding off of what's already here. And what you said about the seed, because that's how nature continues its cycle, is how an animal eats a fruit, they eat the seeds and all. They, um, you know, send the seeds back in through their digestive system. It goes back into the ground and it continues to fertilize the plants. So that just shows how things continue to survive and how a creative thought continues to survive is the different stems of creativity because as it continues to go through different people, it keeps becoming different things. But like you said, there's still that original seed. Mm -hmm. You know, even if it becomes a tree and produces more seeds, there's still the origin that you have to respect. So that, that for that, I, I really appreciate um, El Nez's comments because I think that really proved that to be true. I was just going to touch on what Webster's thesaurus says about original and creative. Original is first fundamental primary, like was stated earlier by El Nez, and creative is imaginary to, imaginative and inventive. So um, it does take originality to be creative. I think it does, but it doesn't take originality being in the creator, the one who's being creative. Right. So I can be creative and not be the originator of a certain thing. You can look at a TV. We were talking about that earlier. TVs have changed over time, but the original TV was not flat screen, was not uh, color and all the different things that our televisions do today. It was very basic, but it's the original television that was made. And the creativity came from those who took that original idea and um, expound, expanded it in different avenues. So, so um, we're going to move on to another song. And in this song, let's see if you can hear the creativity in this artist that God has blessed with this talent. His name is Brian Duncan. And the song is The Last Time I Was Here. Listen, meditate, and let God bless you. Oh 